Making life such a beautiful thing, don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> All right, here it goes. One of you guys, I forgot who it was. I wish I did find the comment again, but I can't find the comment. I think you deleted it for some reason, but I've seen, I think, 400 likes. I said, if you get 100 likes on your comment, I'll make your fee. So, that person suggested me to make a $10 fee. I don't know why, I don't know who, I don't know what reason why people, or some people, are doubting that I was cheating on these challenges. Let me show you guys, let me show you guys here. I showed you guys the receipts, so... For this menu today guys, I got some ground pork, some peas for about $4.84. I went to the Dollar Tree again, I picked up some green lentils, potato gnocchi, uh, chicken bouillon, and some roasted garlic mashed potatoes which cost me around $5. So in total, $5.9984 guys. So, pork, lentils, chicken bouillon, gnocchi, peas and carrots, and mashed potatoes. All for $10, okay? Where is the cheating, guys? <laughs> I don't get it. Watch this feast, guys. All right, we're cool with that, guys. $10 feast. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best, not, I don't want to say the best, but the best, <laughs> let's do it. I'm gonna say it. The best $10 feast you guys are ever put your money toward, too. Don't blink. All right, first things first, lentils. We gotta rinse them. Why do we gotta rinse them? I don't know. I feel like there's sand in them. That's why I gotta rinse them or sand or some dust or trees. Okay, I'll just let them nice and rinse. See, there's little branches in there. See that? We don't want that. That's why I rinse them. Boom, bam. Oh, gotta take our lentils. We got a pot of boiling water here. I'm just gonna throw it in. We're gonna boil this for about 20 to 30 minutes, guys. Once I got that going, I'll put you guys over here. I got some boiling water here. I'm gonna take half a pack of my gnocchi here. I'm just gonna boil it. And all we're just gonna make, guys, is gnocchi soup. How simple is gnocchi soup? Let me show you. Gnocchi, plus a, a piece of that chicken bouillon, and just throw it in there and just let that simmer up. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw all of this in, actually. I'm gonna take half of it out when it's cooked, and we're gonna saute in some ground pork. In the meantime, I got two pounds of ground pork here, which I'm just gonna fry up right now. To season, yes you guessed it, chicken bouillon. <laughs> the best seasoning ever. Just one cube in there. Turn this up. I just like to saute. All right, once I got it nice and cooked, I got some salt and pepper here, which I do have at home, which I'm just gonna use, guys. Okay, salt and pepper, just a tad. Mix this in. All right, nice and mixed in. I got a little bowl here guys over a bit. Half of this portion goes into this bowl. Half of this portion stays on this pan here. Okay, take that can of veggies. You guys want veggies? I give you veggies. <laughs> Mix this in. That's a lot of veggies to meat though. Still a lot good. All right, once I got that nice and warmed up, into this sheet of pan here. I don't know what it's called, a glass pan. Right, in the same pan here, I got some water in there. Maybe like a cup and a half, some mashed potatoes. So, two bags, nice. So two bags of mashed potatoes, or instant mashed potatoes. Heats off, guys. Maybe this is too much water, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Mix this in. Maybe it's too much water, I'm gonna pour some water out. Yeah. Mash that dust in. <laughs> that dust. Okay, I shouldn't have poured that water out. Goofed it there. Turn this dust into mashed potatoes. Look at that. Nothing wrong with fake mashed potatoes, guys. Fake mashed potatoes still all good. All right, I need more water. They're actually, what is it? Roasted garlic mashed potato. Not just any potatoes, okay? Roasted garlic potatoes right here. I know it calls for butter and milk, but I didn't buy any butter and milk. Water it is. Guess what we're making, guys? You guessed it. I wanna say shepherd's pie. 
or meat, but let's just say meat pies, because shepherd's pies with lamb, right? And I'm using pork. That's a lot of mashed potatoes. I don't know why. I'm impressed, actually. Two bags makes this much mashed potatoes? Holy. I just tasted it. It was a little dry. I'm going to add more water to it. It seems like it can soak a lot of water up, though. Like, it doesn't matter how much water you put in. It just soaks it up somehow. See? Do you guys see what I see? It's like a sponge. <laughs> just beautiful. Nice, beautiful chunks of potatoes, too. I'm curious now, guys. Remember the time I said Popeyes had, like, chunks of potatoes in their potatoes? This has chunks of potatoes in their potatoes, or mashed potatoes, too. Yeah. That's weird. That's very weird. See that? See those big potato chunks? Very suspicious, Popeyes. Very, very suspicious. Meat pie! Potatoes on our meat. Boom, bam. Call that a meal right there. I'm just gonna bake this just because I just want the top a little crusted. And that's it. Nice hearty meat pie complete. Oh yes. Don't waste that goodness. Look at that. Such a good investment right here. A spatula or a rubber spatula. Gets everything. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about. The same crusted pan. We gotta take that gnocchi, or half of that portion of that gnocchi, throw it into this pan. Take that half portion of meat, salt and pepper, just for flavor. Gnocchi saute, there it is. Gnocchi saute and pork. With all that seasoning. Back to the stews, guys, so, or the soups. We're gonna taste the soup here. Not bad, not bad. Here it is. It's always good to practice uh, good hygiene. Even if you're off camera, on camera, it's always good to practice good habits, okay? Remember that. That is sweet. Do you know what it needs? Guessed it. Some chicken bouillon. I'm actually surprised by these lentils here because these lentils just naturally, it's sweet. Chicken bouillon. This side, half a cube. Nice, simple, easy soup. I think that's the best thing, right? If you guys don't have much money, soup is the way to go. Here we go, lentils are nice and soft. I'm gonna take one of this, I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna mush this until it becomes nice and liquefied. Some might be like, Quan, that is a nasty looking color stew right there. Guys, just eat it, okay? <laughs> If only I had cream, if I had cream, it would have lightened this color up a bit, but that's all I have, guys. Just water, chicken bouillon, and some good lentils. Nutritious, delicious. It's nice and creamy. It's good fiber too, guys. And high in protein. It is. It's just beautiful. Lastly, we're gonna taste this for seasoning. Look at that, it's beautiful. Let's taste it. All right, here we go. $10 feast right here. Nice, beautiful meat pie. We got the saute gnocchi. We got the gnocchi stew here, or soup. Lentil creamy soup here. Yes, I know guys, the color is weird, but trust me, it's nice, creamy, and delicious. There it is. Who said you can't make a feast out of $10? Can you feed a family with this? Come on now. $10 feast right here. Come through guys. All right, here's the question guys. Can you feed a family with only $10? I did it, right? I did it. Why can't you? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Um, soup first. Let's go with the gnocchi soup first. Look how creamy and delicious this is. Here's the thing guys. If you guys have not eaten like this ever before, you're ungrateful. You're ungrateful. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you gotta eat like this just to really appreciate, 
truly appreciate food, guys. Here, quick die. <laughs> I just got it. Nice. Pop for this. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. You know, I was really lucky to find Yoki at a dollar store. How crazy is that? That's very nice. Mmm. Even though it's like gonna be um, rotten in like a month or so, I'm grateful for, to find this in this store. That. That's nice. All right, saute gnocchi, quick time. Let's got it. Nice palm for this. Mm hmm That's very good. Nice and salty, or nice and nice and salty, nice and seasoned. Yoki's nice and chewy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. There's not that much seasoning. The only season I'm getting is the chicken bouillon, so yeah. Mashed potatoes and shepherd's, no, I was gonna say shepherd's pork. Ground pork, quick time. Here we got it. Nice. Pump for this. That's really nice. You can definitely feed four people with this. Two adults, two kids, or three kids, or four kids. Yeah, you can. The only thing I hate about this challenge is the seasoning because the only seasoning I'm getting is chicken bouillon. If you guys allow me to use my bag of seasoning, I'll be gravy. I'll be gravy, guys. Now, chicken bouillon here. More chicken bouillon on him. A little more chicken bouillon on here. Alright, next soup. Lentil soup. Yes, I know the color is weird. But trust me guys. It's gonna fill you up. Trust me. It's naturally creamy. And seasoned is chicken bouillon. <laughs> As a bite of this. Quick time! Lentil soup! I just got it. Nice. Pop for this. That's very nice. It's naturally creamy. Mmm. Mmm. Texture wise is awesome, guys. Taste wise is awesome. Just the color is different. The color is weird. Try it. Tell me how creamy it is. It's got it. Nice. It's creamy, right? That's legit hearty. Mm. Like just imagine cooking this for your kids. Your kids are gonna remember this their whole life. Then they're gonna wanna come home when they grow up to eat this, right? Because this is what they remember when they were a child. It's good memories, right? That's why all my favorite food is less than $10 to make, right? Spam and macaroni and uh, chicken bouillon. My mom always makes that back in the day. And I love it. She took macaroni, spam, not spam spam, she took like, um, the fake spam, like the real knockoff spam that costs like 80 cents. <laughs> then she diced it up, put it in macaroni, put some chicken bouillon, fish sauce in there, water, cooked it up and made it stew, or cooked it up and made, made soup out of it. 
And that's my all time favorite home food. Is it home food? Home cooked food? What else do I like? Canned ham. Like, that's my favorite um, childhood memory, too. Canned ham. It was like, I don't know what brand it was. It had a turkey kind. Like, you can find it at the dollar store. It's like a turkey kind, chicken kind, and a ham kind. And every time my mom bought it, we always cooked up some rice, put sugar and hot sauce on top of the canned ham, microwaved it and ate it like that, or put some pepper on it and just ate it like that with some rice. Rice and fish. Hmm? What is your childhood memory food? I bet it is something like this. Like something memorable, right? Something memorable, yeah. But try the stew, guys. Very good. Even the color's weird, it's very tasty. If your kids don't like this color, just add a little cream to it. It'll just lighten up the poop color. <laughs> Bear in mind. It'll just lighten this poop color out. Looks like poop. Tastes like wine. The question now, can you feed your family with only $10? I did. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your pop shirts. Food Life's a beautiful thing shirt. Share this. Peace out.